Hi, everyone. I'm Kelsey Nelson. I'm here at Welburn Gourd Farm with Christy Barajas. Hi, Christy. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, Christy is here. She's going to show us how to do um, some cool different color techniques with the new colors, the new transparent acrylics, 10 colors pack. Um, so uh, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But basically, um, as you can see here, we have all of the new colors. And we have these lovely art pieces. And we just wanted to show you and talk a little bit more about um, the colors that were used on the art pieces and kind of the techniques that we use to get the different color effects. Um, so right here, we have this um, the cogboard, um, this vase that I did. And I used the barn red to color the background. And um, so on the left. Yeah, left side for you. <laughs> um, you can see there's two different methods. So this is the same color. It's barn red. And this is the wiping method. So you apply it with a cotton round, and you wipe it with a tissue. And you can s it's just more transparent. So if you wanted to see more through to the natural marking of the gourd, you didn't want your color to be as bold as just applying it with a cotton round or sponging it like this one here, then you can do it that way. Um, for my art piece, I chose to. I wanted it to be bold, so I used the sponge applicator method. Um, and then that's how I got this really pretty, bold, vibrant red from the barn red. Um, and then for the macaw, um, a lot of people don't know, but you can use pigment powders like this turquoise here to make endless color combinations um, by mixing them with your transparent acrylics as well as your ink dyes. So I mixed the turquoise with this new ocean blue. It's a really beautiful blue just by itself, as you can see. But these macaws, they have that really those really um, bright blue feathers that I really wanted to capture. So I chose to mix it with the turquoise pigment powder. And I just think it turned out really lovely. Um, and then for the leaves, I colored them with moss, the new moss right here, and bright green is over there. We'll, we'll talk more about that later. Um, and then I also colored the moss that's on the tree with the moss and um, I blended it with the new bright green as well. And Christy here, she did the, the rest of these lovely art pieces. Um, so Christy, can you tell us a little bit more about how you used the Concord grape and scarlet to make these three different beautiful colors? Uh, yes. On the tulip here, I used the scarlet red and the Concord grape. And I also added some of the ocean blue at the bottom so you get that darker um, purple effect. And also on the leaves and the stem, I used the moss and the bright green. And on this piece, I used the goldenrod for the sunflower. And I also added a little bit of the butterscotch right up in there to give it a little bit of an orange tint to it. And also on the band, I m actually mixed scarlet red with Concord grape together and it created that really pretty color. And on this piece over here, I used those, those same two colors, the Concord grape and the scarlet red. And on this one, I actually used barn red and the butterscotch. So it creates that really pretty orange. And for the center, um, that really bright yellow, which is the goldenrod. And so we're just going to talk a little bit about the butterscotch here. Um, as you can see in the bottle, it looks like it's going to be this really bright orange. Um, but it actually, when you use the wipe method, it kind of turns into this like burnt or, or like uh, yellow orange. And it's just a really pretty color. And it's perfect to use when you want to make different color combinations. Like on this flower here, you want it to get two different tones. It does, if you just use one color, it looks kind of stale. And since you want to make it realistic, you want to add multiple tones um, just to make it look like a real sunflower. All right, and so here, Christy, do you want to tell us a little bit about um, this pot? And it's actually gourd vine. Yay, it's a gourd vine. <laughs> OK, so on the bottom, I added the cinnamon. It's a really pretty all over color. And on the leaves, I added a little bit of the bright green and the moss, and it just really highlights the leaf, that bright green. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, a couple things about the new colors, the 10 new colors, um, like this goldenrod here. It's a really beautiful bright yellow um, that we didn't have in the line before. Same with the bright green. 
and um, say with just with all of them, we didn't really have anything like these colors before, and so it's just added to the line, and you can just create many different things now with these new colors. So we're gonna take some of these gourds off, and Christy's going to demonstrate um, how to apply the terracotta, which is part of the new color pack as well, um, using the white method. She's gonna show you how to wipe it on, and then she's gonna show you how to, to um, apply it with a sponge applicator, and just so you can see the difference, because it's really cool, we love it. And that's probably good right there. We can just bring out the new one. So we have the new terracotta right here and a, a blank gourd piece. It's, it has no color on it. So she's just gonna pour a little bit of the terracotta onto a mixing palette. Okay, first we're gonna do the, with the cotton round, the wipe method. So she's just wiping it on with the cotton round. Oh, look at that color, so pretty. She's just wiping it on, just using a regular cotton round. And you can see it's this really pretty terracotta color. And you can leave it as it is. And you can leave it as it is, or if you want to dilute it, you can also just wipe it down with the tissue. And so she's just wiping it down with the tissue, um, just so it's a little more transparent, and it's just a lighter color. All right, so now she's just gonna pour more on, and she's gonna apply it using the sponge applicator. I usually just use um, the bottom part. It's just easier to hold. So she just she said she usually just uses the bottom part because it's easier to hold. And she's just sponging it on. All right, and we're sponging. <laughs> And she's just building the color up with the sponge applicator. Um, it's really nice to do it with the sponge because it you can get more color on, which gives you more coverage over the gourd. So if you wanted to hide any any of the natural markings on your gourd, you can just by using the sponge applicator, and just it really allows you to build up that color. Same with just with the transparent acrylics because they have um, pigment in them, so it's going to stay on the surface, which is nice when you want to get a really vibrant vibrant color. All right, so here we go. We have, <laughs> she finished sponging. Okay, so this is the white method and it's the method I used on the sunflower and the sponge method, Kelsey actually used it on the macaw. So that's the two different. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Christy. Thank you for joining us at home. Be sure to like us on Facebook so you get to see these awesome videos. They'll pop up in your news feed. You'll get notified when we go live. And be sure to share this with your friends so that they can enjoy and see the wonderful world of gourds. And once again, thank you for joining us. Have a great time. <laughs>